Hello, and welcome to another Suntup unboxing, and another one that's also courtesy of Dark Regions Press. This one, my friends, is If You See Her by Anya Alborn. One of the few Suntup authors to uh, be featured with a hat trick, with three books getting the Suntup treatments. Uh, the other ones being, of course, H.G. Wells, who was the first to get the hat trick. Although, I don't know if we can count that, because, I mean, those first three titles were kind of released. I mean, they went on sale together, so it kind of counts as one set, right? The other being uh, Thomas Harris, who actually has four titles. I mean, H.G. Wells also has four titles, because he got Dr. Moreau. But, um, like I said, I don't know if we're counting H.G. Wells. So if that's the case, if we're not going to count H.G. Wells, because we're going to count those first three as kind of one set, then I suppose this makes Allborn the second title, second artist, author, oh my god, to get the hat trick. But this is technically the first edition called the Classic Edition. I mean, technically, one can make the argument that Horns by Joe Hill was a Classic Edition because it was signed by Joe Hill and the artist or that Guests was the first classic edition because the artist and the uh, author were the same person. Or you might say that Hex is the first classic edition, but that was originally not signed by the author. This one, my friends, was the first one announced as what is called the classic edition. This is If You See Her by Anya Alborn. Uh, this, as I said, is the classic edition. I do have the numbered editions of her first two titles, which are Brother and Seed. Those two titles did not get an artist edition or a classic edition. They just had the numbered and the lettered. This is the first one of Alborn's to get a wide release. Uh, I mean, technically, Brother was unique in that it was the so far the only uh, numbered edition that was limited to 500 copies. Took a while to sell out. I have a nice little label on the spine there. If you see her, some nice dyed through boards of the slipcase. Very heavy cardstock on the dust jacket from just touching the outside of it. We have the little crescent moon stamped in the cover. And the artwork by Babs Webb. So, there's Anya. Anya is a haunting author. And this one sounds just as creepy as her previous titles. A uh, Brother wasn't really creepy in the horror sense. So it was very much more of a thriller. Uh, Seed really sticks with you. That is about uh, about loss and about uh, family and carrying on through generations and tr kind of generational trauma in a way. Uh, but if you see here, it's also about trauma, and also about loss, because uh, Anya Alborn has a lot of loss to write about from the sounds of it. So there we go. Copyright 2019, introduction by 2021, illustrations 2022. Isn't that the... Uh, the quickest turnaround time for one of these editions? So I think it is. Between, you know, publication of the original novel and the Suntup edition. Uh, so this deals with a house. This house. The, the house that's on the, the bookmark and the dust jacket. And uh, a bunch of friends are dealing with this haunted house. And uh, one of the friends commits suicide. And so I believe... a majority of the story. I haven't read this one, if you couldn't tell. I'm guessing that's the suicide, because there are some legs dangling in there, and that is creepy as all hell. Uh, deals with the trauma of loss 20 years later, I believe? I could have made up 20. Let's go back to the dust jacket, because I'm pretty sure I read it off the site that it was 20 years later. Yeah, nearly 20 years. Look at that. See, I kind of know what I'm talking about. The house on Old Mill Road. Uh, so it's a tale of haunting and possession. And Babs, Babs Webb, Babs Webb's, uh, Webb is Babs' last name, but if you want to do possessive, you got Babs Webb's, which just sounds weird saying it aloud. Uh, Babs' illustrations are goddamn haunting. Not, I mean, this is like, wow, some exorcist-level shit right there. Pardon my French. Uh, but damn. Probably some of the best illustrations I've seen in a Suntup edition. Seed was also really good. The, the illustrations for Seed were just 
incredible. A little bit of a glue spot there on my signature page. Limited to a thousand copies, signed by Anya Alborn. There's her little loops and Babs Web right below, beneath it. Uh, this edition is still available on suntup.press. It's actually available in two different states. It's still available in this classic edition, which is limited to a thousand copies. Beautiful cloth bound book, uh, affordable as far as most uh, classic or, or artist editions go. Uh, and it's still available in the numbered edition which I really want that numbered edition looks. I, it's, I don't even necessarily want the numbered edition as a book. I want that freaking case that it comes in. Uh, check out the case. It's like a tray case. You know, it's not, it's not a slip case. It's like a full tray case with like a, a latching lid on the cover. And it's made from a walnut and oak. It looks stunning. It's like, I mean... I don't even necessarily want the book itself. I can't, I couldn't tell you what the book looks like. I don't remember what the numbered edition book looks like. But that case looks to be one of the best cases that Suntop has ever made. But uh, I have way overspent on my book budget, if you couldn't tell by watching these videos. So I couldn't afford the numbered edition and the classic edition. And I couldn't afford the numbered edition and several of the other books that I've purchased on this channel. So... I had to put some restraint in, stick with just the classic edition, especially being signed by Anya Alborn makes it just the more special. Uh, plus, I had already jumped off the train at that point, uh, so I wouldn't have been able to get a numbered edition that matched my other numbered editions. Uh, turns out that my new number, after getting back on the train for however long I'm on it, is like a dyslexic number. So my original number, especially for the first two Anya Alborn titles, is 127. My current number is 172. You just flip the, the 7 and the 2. So that's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, like I said, copies of this are still available. Uh, both the classic edition and the numbered edition. Look at that tray case. That is incredible. Um, and yeah, I've got plenty of other unboxings on the channel. Check out suntup.press, uh, suntup editions. They do an incredible job all around with every edition that they publish. And if you live in the Irving, California, Irving, Irvine, California area, they just did a, a job posting. They need someone to help with fulfillment. So if you live in California, you know, you can go and work at Suntop, which would be really cool. I do not live in Irving, California, so that is not a job for me. What if I could, but uh, out of my range, out of my sphere of commuting to work. That's me a long commute. Anyways, uh, coming up in May is the Amityville Horror. Coming up in June from Suntup is Psycho by Robert Block. Very excited to see what they do with that one. Please check out Suntup Editions. Please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see you around next time.